All right, guys, we're back. It is sleeting in Charlotte on Tuesday mornings. We're filming this. I got Shariah Gaddy, South Mac in the car, her trainer, Randall Clark in the back, her coach, Christy Mitchell in the back. I hope you guys can see everybody. We've never done this many people on Riding with Cruise before. <laughs> when I first met you, you were working with him, and you couldn't shoot to save your life. <laughs> you couldn't. I mean, let's be real. Okay, I got it. And then the other day, your coach sends me a text and you made 10 threes. Not in the game. Not in the game. In half. <laughs> so how do you go from the little girl who I saw a couple years ago who was really struggling to shoot and was getting really frustrated with it to making 10 threes in a half and setting a brand new state record? That's amazing. Uh, I definitely stayed in the gym with Randall a lot. And over time, I built my confidence. Yeah. And, um, Coach Mitchell, she built my confidence. She kind of gave me the green light and stuff. So, you know, it wasn't that hard to do when I have these two. Well, tell me about that game, though. I mean, is it, were you hot in warm-ups? Had you been um, making a lot of shots? The funny thing was, like, that? during warm-ups, I was shooting, and I missed every single shot. And I was, like, frustrated, <laughs> and I ran to the bench. And our assistant coach, Coach Rubino, she was like, you need to stop turning when you shoot. When you shoot. And I'm just like, okay. So I get in the game, and I'm just like, you know, I'm going to shoot it just because. Yeah. <laughs> and then it goes in. And I'm like, okay. And then I shoot it again. And I shoot it again. <laughs> you start shooting step back. <laughs> yeah. Volleyball line stuff. And then <laughs> uh, Coach Mitchell, she was like, they're going to start coming out on you. So, you know, you might want to drive to the basket. And I'm just like, okay, okay. And it came out, and I shot it. <laughs> and it went in. <laughs> so I was just like, you know what? I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I think I'm going to keep shooting. <laughs> Coach, talk about her development for you and, and, you know, just her progression from, you know, from freshman year to now and going to Presbyterian, right? Yes, sir. Going to Presbyterian. Talk about that development. Well, actually, she came to me as a sophomore. She was at Porter Ridge as a freshman. She came to me um, the, the second day of basketball tryout. Mm -hmm. She showed up in the office to register, and my athletic director said, you have um, a player from Porter Ridge coming to it's transferred in and mm -hmm. I went and looked on Max Preps, tried to find out some information about her and you know she played varsity as a freshman didn't um, I don't think she had a very good freshman year but um, the minute she was in the gym I knew she had a lot of potential mm -hmm. I mean, she's she's long she's you know she's 5'11 with about a 6'3 wingspan mm -hmm. and um, <clears throat> when she wants to play defense, she's a pretty good defender too. <laughs> <laughs> when you want to, is that like every third, is that like every third game? <laughs> pretty much. Um, but but Shariah definitely has improved so much over the past three years. Mm. Um, last year on a 25 and 5 team, she was one of four um, double digit scorers for us. Wow. And she'd have some big nights. She'd have you know a couple 20 point nights, and then would have you know she'd have a couple six point nights. Mm. And, you know, it was really last year's team and this year's team was was very different because last year she was a, another player on a good team, and this year she was the best player right. on a very young team. Right, right, right. And so she definitely had to change um, everything about her game this year as far as being a leader for us. And um, you know, we made jokes a lot of times. I mean, this summer was really the first time in team camp that I saw her shot had really changed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And throughout the season would make jokes when she'd go 0 for 8 I'd say you need to get back with Randall <laughs> when are you going and I'd even tell her dad she needs to get back in the gym you know and he told me preseason he's like I'm getting her there I'm getting her in there three days a week this week coach and I'm like get her in there as much as you uh -oh. can because uh -oh. I mean Randall's definitely changed her shot and given her the confidence that she needs going into next year. Randall what did you guys do I mean I know your company's called Outwork Everyone so how much work did she put in and what did you guys do to turn her game around the way I mean, she put in a ton of work. The funniest part about Shariah is there was a time in middle school where she didn't want to play basketball. And I thought she was done. Mm -hmm. And probably 18 months later, her mom called me and said, you know, she's ready to start back. And it was just different. It was not, you know, I don't want to be here. It was just, when she came into the gym, it was always working. Uh, you know, she's going to get her shoes on. She's going right to it. So, you know, she's done a great job of, you know, being consistent mm -hmm. and working and, you know, shooting with me, shooting on her own, you know, no 
those are the important things, you know. I always tell her, you know, you got to be able to work when nobody else is watching. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, her season this year has been a true testament to that. What happened during that period when you stopped wanting to play basketball? Um, well, I don't know. I just thought I wasn't good. So I was mm -hmm. like, why am I playing? I can't, I can't even play. I'm like. <laughs> How old were you? What grade? Were you? I was, it was like. Seven, eight, eighth seventh, grade. Okay. eighth grade. I think it was seventh grade. And you took a whole year and a half away. I know I never stopped playing, but I just didn't want to put in the work. Like but, outside of playing middle school basketball, mm -hmm. I was like, I don't want to go to workouts. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. And it showed because, like in middle school, I didn't really improve my game. So what much. changed? What what turned? What flipped the switch? Um, I started playing AU with. Phoenix mm -hmm. with Coach Busby and he just he just always had this energy that made me like love basketball and then my teammates they were always like so happy you know and they gave me confidence they were mm -hmm. like they were always like oh my gosh you're like so good and stuff like that I'm like am I not really <laughs> I'm like maybe I should get back to this basketball stuff and what did that guy Randall do for you oh he did a lot because like I mean when I first came to South Meg that's when I really started getting attention and stuff mm -hmm. and I always heard the same thing from people it was like you would be a great player if you could just get your shot right and I made shots every now and then so mm -hmm. I was like I can shoot I mean I, it goes in sometimes but I never really knew like I really couldn't shoot <laughs> was it hard though working with him to reconstruct your shot yeah it was it was frustrating because like in workouts we shoot a lot mm -hmm. and so when I first started out you know I missed a lot and so I was just kind of like, oh my gosh, this is so That must have been when I saw you. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> you were really, really frustrated was, the first yeah. time I saw you. It was terrible. And now it's like, I don't know, I go in the gym and I just make shots. Now you go to school for free. <laughs> <laughs> You're making state yeah. record threes in the yeah. game. I mean, can you believe that the journey from here to there that you, you know, gone from an eighth grade or seventh grade that wasn't sure she wanted to play to now being one of the best players around? Yeah, it's kind of unbelievable sometimes. Like, even, like, looking back to last year, I would have never thought that, you know, I would have gotten this far yeah. in just over a summer and stuff like that. But, you know, hard work really does pay off. So the biggest jump was this past summer? Yes, I, I believe so. Was it every day in the summer? Was it 500 shots a day in the summer? What, what was it? No. What, what made the lights switch for? It was... I don't know. I, re I went to Randall a lot mm -hmm. when I wasn't, like, you know, in school or whatever. So that dude actually knows what he's doing? Yeah, he, he might actually know what he's doing. I don't know. <laughs> I think he might. <laughs> I'm not but, so sure. So. <laughs> but, um, well, yeah. So tell me, what what do you want to do for the rest of the season? You got the, you know, conference. We're doing this ahead of conference tournament starts tonight, but then you have playoffs next week. I mean, mm -hmm. Your last game is going to be soon over the next three weeks or so. But what do you, you know, what do you want to do? What kind of legacy do you want to leave here in South America? Um, well, I'm glad I got to set a record in the state, but um, I also want to leave behind like confidence in the younger girls, yeah. and um, I want to leave like a good attitude for them. You know, when things get hard, I want them to keep trying, and I want to encourage them to like work hard outside of the gym because that was something I didn't really understand was important. Yes, you are a testament to hard work and, and that you can become better because I tell you, it's amazing. Uh, Coach, how, how good of a player has she become? Oh, goodness. She, the, the crazy part with Shariah is, is yeah, she's a div Division One player, but she's she's just now breaking the surface of, of how good she can be. Right. I mean, her, her length, her size, her athleticism, and now with a shot, and she could always get to the basket. She could always create for herself. Now mm -hmm. she's creating for her teammates, and so she's really scoring at different levels. And she's she's becoming the player that you know. I told her a couple weeks ago. I said I'm not happy with 20 point games anymore. If you have four turnovers, <laughs> <laughs> you, know, four turnovers you can't have it. You know. So right. now we're, we're trying to get her ready for for next year. I want to get her playing time as a freshman. I don't want her, you know, sitting on the bench as a freshman. Mm -hmm. So right now mm -hmm. we're, we're trying to change from being one of the best players in high school to preparing her to be one of the best freshmen in her league next year. So, and she has so much potential between, you know, March and, and November. Mm -hmm. There's no telling what kind of player she's going to walk in and, and be at Presbyterian next year. I think she's going to be really fine players, going to shoot really well. Thanks for being on the show. Thank Appreciate you for having me. All right.